Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDAC Engineering and I have another Tech Tip Thursday for you. I want to skim the outside diameter of this part that I'm holding down on this fixture with some bolts. So what I'm going to do here is come in with my toolpath and just skim around the outside. But, I'm doing okay, and then something bad happens. What's going on? It's wiping out all my bolts. It's never done this before. We have a problem. If I did that, I would destroy the workpiece. Let me actually show you a little better view of the path, and we can talk about what's going on and how we're going to fix it. So my tool is coming in and it's cutting along the path, it's going right inside that bolt hole and wiping out that whole shape right there. So we're going to come around and why is that happening? Well my chain, my toolpath chain is what I, what I wanted, chain around the hole outside, but I don't want it to go into areas where it doesn't fit. Now by default, there's a button here called infinite look ahead that's turned on. I happen to turn it off, I don't know why, maybe it was an accident, maybe I meant to do that on purpose to show you what I did here in this video. So I'm going to put this back on the default. So infinite look ahead is back on by default. And what infinite look ahead does is it keeps the toolpath from crossing itself. So here, the tool knows where it would have to cross itself and knows to stay out of that area where the tool path would have to cross. So you notice the tool doesn't go into any area it doesn't fit. It just goes in the best it can. So that's what I would like to, that's how I would like to cut that part you're looking at there. Now, what do you mean by cross itself? What I mean by cross itself is you can see here the tool path crossed itself right there in that move. And by turning on infinite look ahead, the toolpath didn't cross itself. So you're saying to yourself now maybe, when would I ever not want to have this feature turned on? I'd always want to have this infinite look ahead turned on. And to be honest with you, probably 99 times out of 100, you will. I think I've been using Mastercam now since the mid-1990s and I've only had to turn it off a couple select times. But there are times when you want to turn off infinite look ahead. And I had a call, a tech call earlier this week that was one of those times. And I don't have the customer part, but I have a little example of the area they were cutting. They were trying to cut something that looked a bit like this square with a line coming off of it that we have now. And they chained down this line around and out here because they wanted to cut that shape. And when they did that, and they had their infinite look ahead turned on, the cutter path's not allowed to cross itself, right? So the tool path actually looked like that. It was ignoring this line that they wanted to cut down. So pull out our head a little bit, and we came in and turned off infinite look ahead. And when we did that, now the tool can come down here around and cut exactly what we chained, which is what the customer wanted on this particular area that they were cutting. So that's where an infinite look ahead had to be turned off in that specific location. So I would actually tell most people out there, infinite look ahead being there and on by default is a good thing you're very rarely going to want to turn off infinite look ahead but it's good to know about it. it's good to know that it's there so that if you're ever in a situation where you need to cut a specific least shaped piece of geometry you can do that so that's what infinite look ahead can do for you thank you everybody hope you have a great day and I hope you all enjoyed this tech tip for you guys thanks and have a good day